Hello and howdy. All right, let's do a ma 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 mic check to make sure we're coming through. Audio, yes, yes, I think we are. I think we have audio and video. Hello, darlings. <laughs> Hi, rares. Let me know if this doesn't sound normal. <laughs> I don't know where that word was. Um, but I think everything is being selected that should be selected. Oh, thanks, darling. So, how are you all? Just got off Angular Air. That was fun. Did some uh I, I got some builder knowledge that I learned and schematic things. That was fun. Um today's Wednesday. Wow, that flew. <laughs> So today, and we're just going to dive right into it, um, it might be, we might complete it in a stunningly short amount of time, who knows, we'll see. I'm actually going to like roll up the sleeves for this one. <laughs> and let me actually share it in the chat before I pull it up on sc sc screen. So I think this is the one, I thought it was Friday, I know, right? It does feel like it. Somehow my weeks are like front end loaded. So by the time I reach Wednesday, I've like put forth a whole week's worth of effort. <laughs> or say Friday or more like, okay, is my brain still on? I think so. I'm actually, so I don't know if any of you are, um, if you've ever done this before, but I want to build in like betterment time where I can work specifically for me. I want to get better at angular things. Um, but uh, I'm like actually like building in time to my schedule and I think Friday is going to be it where I like block off like some hours in my day for just focusing on learning. So I am blessed enough that my boss was like, do it, go for it, carve out the time. Um, but I know like since I'm an advocate, a lot of times I kind of have to carve out coding time because all the other things come in the way. So maybe all of you are blessed enough with just being on top of your game, really. <laughs> but today we are going to be tackling. Um, I want to know how you did find the cut. I know, right? My boss is, she's incredible. Um, I was really struggling because I'm in a dev advocacy position at Progress um, for Kendo UI. And I was really struggling early on. And then she came on as my boss. And it was like night and day difference um, at it just really opened my eyes to how like the right boss that like vibes with you, that communicates well with you. And that just like, I don't know, actually is <laughs> just really good at their job. Uh, it can just make your job just night and day different. Cause I thought first, at first I was like, Oh, maybe I need to go back to development. Maybe advocacy isn't for me. And then she joined the team and just completely flipped everything around. And so it's, uh, it's been really, really, really awesome. I'm super blessed. Yes, Sarah does rock. <laughs> uh, Rare says, I'm not on top of my game. I work on four different projects at the moment. I need more than 24 hours in a single day. Sheesh, Rares. Jeez, I'm so sorry. I was just actually on, uh, my husband's a web dev too, and we share an office. And so he had his meeting. He hates headphones. So anytime I'm not on a call or something, he'll have his meeting going in the office and just listening to things about like their company as well and how stressed out some of their devs are. It was like getting me stressed out. So I'm so sorry if you're in that boat right now where things are just hella crazy and really stressful. Cause that's ugh. I'm so <laughs> it sounds like you're there though, Rares. Let's share a screen. A screen, a screen, a share a screen. Abba, abba. How do you get an advocate job? That's an interesting case. Uh, I actually did it unintentionally. Uh, I don't know if you can get a job accidentally, but um, I became, so I started off by learning Angular in college. And then um, I just started doing a bunch of like talks like at meetups. And then that got bigger and bigger. And I went to um, conferences like NGConf and did a talk and this was in, within the first like year or two of graduating from college. Um, and I had just a little web, dot, web dev job at the time. And I started just 
kind of getting more and more of a following online and then I got invited to be a GDE and I think that really catapulted things. Um, GDE stands for Google Developer Expert and it's kind of Google's advocacy program um, that's outside of, you're not an official Googler, um, you don't get paid from them, but you are part of like an advocacy team, I guess, um, of sorts. And so um, <laughs> follow what you feel passionate about. Yeah, that really is that's spot on. And because it just kind of accidentally happened to where I wasn't planning on being an advocate, but all the things that I was working towards and doing lined up perfectly with being an advocate. Um, things like having a following, um, being in a community deeply embedded and knowing kind of like having a check on the the pulse or the heartbeat of that community and being able to have like people that you can reach out to for different things. Because right now, one of my jobs um, as an advocate is to, I guess, organize an upcoming conference in a couple months. And so being able to reach out to people and have like, oh, yeah, I want these people as my speakers for the day or like things like that. It all falls under like being an advocate as well as being able to like build apps and program and outreach. And so um, I'm just hella blessed that everything kind of aligned. And uh, Tara Minixik, she was uh, kind of my lead into this job specifically because she was like, hey, we're hiring advocates. And I was like, I wonder if I would like that. And so that's when I uh, I applied and found out that it's my jam. So um, I don't seem to get out of this though. Uh, Rares is saying, I read, but I've been working like this for the past three years. Sheesh. <laughs> that is a long time to be working like that intensely. Um, work, work life balance is so important. And I'm just super blessed right now that um, my job supports having a healthier work life balance because I see firsthand with my husband and his job where they're like, mm, yeah, 80 hour weeks aren't bad. <laughs> and you're like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Sounds like you need to find a new gig. I, uh, I, if you can, things are so weird right now where there's super high demand for some things and then nothing for others. So, and that's even like within like development web dev, like it's just weird. Uh, I have a, a friend who's actually looking for a PHP developer. So if you are one, you know, hit me up. I actually don't know very many PHP developers. I was like, I know Rails people. <laughs> so let's try uh, sharing screen real, real quick. Real quick. Uh, let's share application window. That one, please. Yes, thank you all. So I did put it in the chat, but I can put it in the chat again. I was just thinking, <clears throat> as I was scrolling through, there are... I'm going to swap screens around so I can see your gorgeous feedbacks while I have this up. Um, so I was going through the different challenges, and if we take off the day index, I think we're only a couple days off from what's live. There's this slider buddy, which he looks okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, sure, Rares. Uh, we are... Me and Rares are already chatting on the Twitter, so just DM me. Mm. I really need to stop on the coffee. It's like getting late in the afternoon. Uh, so anyways, I pulled up 100 days CSS.com and I was like, mm, what shall we build out today? This slider was kind of like, I don't know. Like, he, he's just okay. He kind of, maybe. Uh, and then the next one was even more simple. At least I think it's simple. Looks like three different, these are probably SVG, and then you've got like maybe the same keyframe or two different keyframes that are being applied and then bounce back and forth. So I was like, mm. so then we landed on this thermostat, caught my eye, and honestly, you're probably going to be like, mm, really? It's just the gradient that caught your eye, isn't it? Yes. A sucker for color. Um, <laughs> so... So I thought it'd be fun to tackle this one. And I really don't, like I know I've used gradients in the past. I know that in CSS you have like linear gradient and what is it called? Radial? Hang on. We're going <laughs> Google this right now. Circle gradient. Gradient in CSS. What is it called? Yeah, radial. <laughs> Look right there. Uh, but of course we're going to pull up. Ooh, I think we've used this one before. CSS gradient, 
Right, 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 right. But these aren't radial. Oh, you can toggle it to radial. Interesting. Which I actually don't know. If we we'll look at this, it's like going from this dark color to the light color. I think it might be radial. I don't know if we want to peek behind the covers or if we just want to like attempt <laughs> attempt it. Let's get the um the pieces of our thermostat built out and then go from there. So also I think this is in Celsius, which is fine. We can leave it in Celsius. Okay. Uh open template. Yarg. Oh righty, darlings. Um Happy coding. So let's see. We want to get, I'm just going to color pick uh, to get us started. It's like a dark gray. I don't know about this width. Let's make it a bit. What are you saying about CSS transform rares? What are you saying, darling? Um, is this too wide? Let's do this width. And then we can check on the stream. I think that's okay. We'll be starting soon with it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, we're going to have to rotate some squares. <laughs> if you're like, what are, what are you two talking about? What is this inside joke? If you go to the thermostat and you're, you're looking at it and you're like, how, how is this built? Um, there's obviously either a square or a triangle that is hovering um, in between certain layers. Rottler, they called it their bottom overlay. She's a uh, transform rotated by four to five degrees. Grrr. But whenever you're looking at this, you might be thinking, oh, how am I gonna build out this sliver C-shape ring? Um, when actually it's, it's just layers of circles and then a square that's rotated and making it look like that so yeah that's how we're gonna <laughs> spoiler alert that's how we're gonna do this so bum, 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 bum. all right we don't need java java javascript is the transforming from celsius to fahrenheit i don't think so i think it's just going up a degree on hover is that what you're talking about i think that's i think that's what we're talking about and i think it's just I honestly have no idea what's going on. <laughs> like I see the little, like it's moving up. So it's getting warmer and I see it's going from 19 to 20, but yeah, we should, we should transform from Celsius to Fahrenheit. That would be, yeah, that would be better than what I don't understand what's happening on. If you understand what's happening on hover, then maybe you can explain it to me, but it's, it was a bad joke. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I need jokes explained to me. <laughs> Okay, let's make this a little, I know, I keep adjusting the screen. Let's make this go away, JavaScript. Usually, all right, let's see. I've got StreamYard things hovering here that I can't move manually. So I'm going to, there it goes. I'm trying to hit this X to make the ad go away, but I can't hit it. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I don't know why. Usually I can like collapse the JavaScript more, I thought. Am I just making that up? Maybe I couldn't. Maybe that was never a thing. Okay. Um, happy coding. So let's go and give ourselves. This is the iframe. This is the center. Um, it's not. I always call it iframe. It's just a frame. Uh, do we want to give background. I'm going to make our colors up here today. I got all this condensation on my desk from my coffee. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Mm, something productive, I'm sure. Uh, dark. Okay. And then we need to say instead of white, gray perfect it's beautiful and we we're gonna swap the text color to white you'll see worse jokes 
Is that gray? I don't know. Am I colorblind? Maybe. Look, me and my husband have this argument all the time. I'll call something orange and he'll be like, that's clearly red, Alyssa. And I'm like, is it? Is it? I don't know. It feels green. What? Okay. I was going to say it could be blue. So if that color is green, <laughs> I am in some serious trouble. What should I call this? Thermostat. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I usually say like 100 day CSS challenge, I think 35. I don't know. I could be more semantic about it and be like uh, CSS stat and then isn't, I think there's a way to add a description yes without the hyphens and I think it's just I think it's number 36 but it's 35 URL 54 wow it's totally off so it's number 55 but it's 54 in the URL number five there we go We're saving close Please. Thank you. I'm colorblind. New essence of color. It's called dichromacy. Dude, if this is not dark gray, I mean, it's pretty close to, to a gray, but so different grains are green for me. Use only available space inside of this 400 frame. We don't need that comment. Thank you. Uh, okay, we got our dark gray. Let's go back and let's grab, I don't know, I, I'm going to be boring and call it light gray. <laughs> so we've got a dark gray. We've got a light gray. Uh, what other colors are we going to need? Obviously this gradient. Um, there's a, uh, I want the color of the font. Sorry, I'm trying to see if it's, it's pretty constant. I don't think it's a gradient. Ooh, which is fun to do. Totally possible, but, right? I'm not making this up. Gradient on font CSS. I think it's just gradient text. Maybe a little jank. Oh. Wait, short URL. I'm looking. One second, rares. I got distracted by text gradients. <laughs> Is short URL better than bit.ly? Short URL at. Hmm. PKSZO. I could just click on it. Why am I typing it manually? <laughs> Yep, that's the kind of Wednesday afternoon I'm having. Mm. So it is possible to give text a gradient. Keep going, find the CSS. Text fill and background clip. Hmm. Noise. I don't think that's what's going on, though, in their example. I think it's just one of the colors that's part of the gradient. You can look into it if you think... Otherwise, I'm going to call it our dark purple. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> did you just Rick, Rick roll me, Rares? I think you did. Honestly, like up until a couple of years ago, I didn't even know what Rick rolling was. So, <laughs> okay. We've got a dark gray, our light gray. We have a font color. I think we're good on colors, maybe. Mm, yeah. I'm very curious. Oh, there's a shadow on that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I see one, one, two, three, four layers. Uh, for this thermostat, you've got the base layer. You've got the color gradient layer the square that's rotated and the white circle. Is it, is it white? Watch it be like F2 or something. No, oh. no, it's white. Okay. Mm, okay. 
So instead of happy coding, we're going to have how to do this. Div called thermostat, maybe. Thermostat. Uh, anyone how you spell it? Yikers. Yeah, I'm going to go with yes. Okay, thermostat, and then inside, so we said four layers, maybe. Um, so if I make the thermostat this base layer, and then we have radial layer, yeah, I think they can all be nested inside. Tell me if this is not how you would do it, because I want to know. Okay, but we're just going to say... Plump, 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 and this is going to be our, what, red, red, uh, colorful layer, I don't know, I don't know, you guys, I don't know. Uh, the next one is the square, oh wait, am I doing it backwards, no, I don't think so, right, because I think you have to do the one inside the other, why? With positioning, they could be anywhere. <laughs> no, seriously. Why would I put them one inside the other? Explain it to me. Because I was thinking like the three inside of thermostat are going to all like be positioned relative to thermostat, like their parent. I'm not sure either. Once I start positioning these, if they're going haywire, I'll just like nest them like nesting dolls. Colorful layer. I really don't know what to call these square layer. And the one on top of that is the actual add a layer. Man, this is just woof. Okay. So now I'm going to go down. I'm going to collapse our frame because I think we're done with that, bud. I didn't turn no I didn't turn off notifications. People are slacking me. All right, here we go. Uh, thermostat. Thermostat. What are we gonna do? Um, I know I should probably give it a width and height first. Blah, blah, blah. Background color of. I think it might be light gray. I'm gonna like guess and then we're gonna go and look at it afterwards and be like, wow, look how off you were. Width of. Uh, I think our frame is 400 by 400. So it's like maybe 250 i don't know we're gonna find out copy paste width height uh light gray <laughs> there's my square <coughs> um i mean if you're having 100 percent width height on inner layers just use margins to center border radius to 50 percent man like you're thinking like a chess player with like million moves ahead i'm like here in the moment with my square so <laughs> I can't do it. This is like literally as far ahead as I can think. I'm just, I was not gifted with such abilities. So you're probably right. And I'm probably gonna have to change everything. A lot. Okay, save. Uh, so what I'm wondering is if we need a border and if we need a shadow, which I mean, obviously you can't see. I'm gonna go ahead. I know I'm cheating. I'm not going to look too much, but I want to change the background color of our, where's the frame itself? Oh, they didn't put the color in the frame. I'm confused. I wanted to take away their gray background color so I could see if the whole thing had a border and a shadow and a, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Uh, there's a way to open, I'm just going to open theirs and inspect. And you're like, why are you inspecting? The code's right there. Well, I don't want to see too much of it. And I think the inspector limits how much I see. So on the frame, if we go and see, yeah, they added the color. So if I take away the color, yeah, I, do, I knew it. I was right. Although, what is the point of giving a shadow whenever you can't see it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. No point. <laughs> Maybe it's like 
<laughs> to be cooler. <laughs> it's literally like, hmm. I think it's it's one of those things where it's like, um, okay, so I just I just did this where I'm at, about to make a PR where I'm suggesting that we change one of our examples from uh, like moving a label next to an input field or moving it down currently based on margin. And I was like, mm, that's a little breakable. Why don't we move it down based on line height? and rems and that way if the overall font of the form changes then the label will adjust like where it's being centered right um so it's kind of like that like maybe they're like thinking mm, what if they change the background to green then we want this nice little soft uh, shadow to be there right even though you can't see it how it currently is maybe it was like one of those things or maybe they weren't thinking about it at all okay so I really, really am really, really, really bad at shadows. I need to get better at it. So I'm just going to go and look. Yes, let's use, uh, actually, we're going to leave this gradient site open. And I think they'll just box shadows in CSS. And then we're going to go to CSS Tricks because I like to support that website. Um, by giving it higher rankings in the Googles. Uh, horizontal offset, vertical offset, blur radius. These are like, there's anytime there's like 12 parameters, guarantee I'm going to have to look it up. So optional spread and color. Box shadow generator. I know I saw that. I saw that uh, box shadow generator option. I don't know if this is the one that you're suggesting. I check out. Woo, look at that harsh shadow. But right, I always like to look at the, and zoom in on this, the options as it were. Uh, so horizontal, vertical, blur, and spread. So I think I usually do the first three. And then the color, I don't usually mess with spread, but let's check out this g -g 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 generator. Okay, so 10 pixels to the horizontal, the vertical, I'm with you. So really if we're, our thermostat has a little bit below it, and I think it's like a little bit to the side. I'm gonna pull back up their example. Yeah, see how there's like barely anything over on the lake, there's nothing on the, the top left, it's like all centered in the bottom right. So if we go back over here, uh, I don't know, 10, 10 sounds reasonable. And then blur radius, five pixels. Mm, okay, definitely, I don't know if spread is being used. Uh, the blur, it's a pretty soft shadow. That could also be the color. Make it lighter. Like that? I don't know. That's okay. Might be a bit too much on the horizontal and the vertical. I don't know, five. We use box shadows after everything is positioned. <laughs> I know. I know. You all probably are like, wow, you do things way out of order. That's my life. <laughs> okay. So this is what we're grabbing. We're grabbing this box shadow because I'm pretty happy with it, but it might be too soft. It might be too soft. And I think we're going to use the box shadow on multiple things. And no, I'm not going to give, I'm not going to give things a box shadow class. I'm just going to extend said box shadow class. Extend. So I only have to change it in one place because that's what I'm feeling right now in this moment. Oh, let's change the color so we can see if, okay, well, first of all, did I do that right? Probably not because it's yelling at me. Doesn't want my box shadow to be in the very top. Import, um, why are you angry? I bet you anything it's got to do with how I'm using extend. Am I using extend wrong? Hashtag anarchy. I know, right? Extend CSS class. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, add extend. Class name. Is that saying there's a dot? Why is there a space between? Let's go to a different website. Um, yeah. It might be the order. Let's try. 
putting box shadow at the top with our variables. Add extend box shadow. Why are you mad at me? Ooh. Trying to make it like rerun. Um, and also let's take away the background color real quick. Um, yeah, nothing's running right now because it's so angry at what I have done. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's related to the box shadow though because if I comment out this and I comment out my extend... Is the code pen still angry? Yes, she is. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's dive in, shall we? Mm, why are you angry? Oh, darn it. I do this every week. You know what it is? It's their stupid format. It breaks the heck, the heck out of this URL. Is that all it does? It just adds spaces? Yeah, that's all it does. Big heavy sigh. My box shadow should probably go up by my variables anyways, so whatevs, that's totally fine. But it was because I used the format button, which I've got to stop using. Okay, so there's our box shadow. We've extended it on our thermostat. The next step is going to be our colorful, colorful layer of fun. And he adds Kendo Gage done. <laughs> Ed, Ed. No cheating. Colorful layer, uh, background color of background, background color, background of pink. Wait, what did I? Yeah, I'm going to name it the font, not name it. I'm going to give it our dark purple, which goes to our font. Actually, let's go ahead and give that to color while we're thinking about it before we forget. Um, What was I saying? Oh, I'm going to give our colorful layer the background color of our dark purple for now and then we're going to do to appease the masses i'm going to do my best to stay on track and we'll attack architecture first and then styling <laughs> watch me break my rule in two seconds okay colorful layer background color of dark purple you need to be visible visible i don't know I'm just going to continually make smaller and smaller circles. At some point, I really should check the size. Yeah, because that's, that's way too small. Like, I don't know, 150? Yikers. Still too small. Let's go 200. And now we're going to tackle some, what do we call it? Positioning. Uh, position, position, I don't know. Am I doing this right? Relative, and this one should be absolute, I think. Position, relative, wait, what? Absolute. Do I even need to do this? Hang on. I don't think so. Let me try something else that's not what. Display flex. <laughs> I know, maybe I shouldn't use flex. It's like a gritty situation. Or as my husband says, it's always time for positioning. Uh, display flex. And then we want to say justify content. Wow. Spelling. Center. And then quit positioning absolute. And I don't know if it's updating. Sometimes code pen's like, no. I'm not going to do the thing that you want me to do. Align item. Is it item or items? Items, items, I don't know. I need to go look. Why don't you set the colorful layer with 100% width height and just set margins? What madness are you talking about? Let me think about what you're saying. Yeah, I don't get it. What? <laughs> you want me to, you want me to change the size of my inner circle with margins? I'm confused. You have confused me. Do it in a code pen. I'll give you mine. Do it in a code pen and send it to me. I don't know what he means. 
Put in a code pin rares and then I'll pull it up and I'll look at your way and I will be like, yes, it is better. And then I will do it that way. Okay. So uh, I'm going to keep doing the architecture like I promised. I don't, that feels like too much of a border though. It is. It's definitely too much. Let's try 220. We're getting crazy. 220. That looks a, a bit more accurate. Uh, all of these are going to have to change, though, once I. Why is, why is my mic so wobbly? So wobbly. All right, the next one is the square layer. Hello, square layer. You're a square layer. Width of, actually, do I still have that copy pasted? No, I don't. Width of, I don't know. It's going to be smaller than we think. Think I think, and background color of. <laughs> Watch this drive my husband crazy. <laughs> because you say why? Because I'm putting my background color after width and height in this one, but in all my other ones it was before my width and height. And he's like crazy anal like that, or he everything has to be in the same order. And I just I live my life how I want. Light gray, light gray. What is going on with my colorful layer? I don't know. It's making me very uncomfortable. 220 pixels. Why are you doing that? Oh, is my square pushing it over? <laughs> Dang it. Um, hang on. Let me think about my life. Because mm. I was going to do positioning. to stack them on top of each other so this wouldn't be an issue for some reason I really hate the idea of nesting them in inside of each other I don't know why it's just like maybe it's because it's one of those like things where you you open up someone's code and you see like the side the side trail of their markup and it's like and you're like oh help us so I'm like trying to lean away from that but mm, what should I do hang on First of all, I should understand why this is not a circle because I'm giving it a set width and height. So even with display flex, I don't understand why that's being manipulated. Uh-huh. Let's give our square a different color just for so everyone can see what's going on. Hot pink. thermostat so we've got our thermostat it has a display flex on it if I take that off yeah that's so that's what's happening which is so weird let's try um flex <laughs> yeah it is it's because of flex that they're doing this and I was planning I was planning on stacking them with positioning. All right, let me think about what I actually want to do before I take any more steps. Should we stack them like nesting dolls or should we leave them how they are in this setup and position them? Thinking, 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 or I might actually have to move them no matter what I do. Okay, let me close this. Uh, refresh the page, please. Okay. And let's go back. We're going to move that. Hey, the JavaScript's closed now. Yeet. Okay. We get it. You're a box shadow. Closing the frame. Closing the center. I could extend center. Mm. And stop doing this. And comment out this for this moment. I want to see if this works. Mm -mm. It does not. So what I was thinking was, since we have this class up here called, <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ed said, I'm not going to make a thermostat pun, but I'm tempted. That's funny. <laughs> um, thermostat, blah, blah, blah. So we're positioning absolute top. Yes. So I'm wondering, this actually needs to go on the child. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then if we go ahead and bring our square layer back, I hope you're all following because I'm not doing very good commentary at this moment in my life. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for this moment, but perhaps centering is not, uh, positioning, centering with positioning is not what you wanted to do today. So holler back if, if not, otherwise I'm just like moving forward. But really what's going on here, um, is we're not using display flex to center and we are extending our center class, which is what the frame I think itself is using right here. Not frame. What is the element? Oh, it's just called center. It's what uh, center is using to be in the middle so that everything is in the middle, but I'm also extending that to our thermostat bits. Is it an optional illusion or is the center square actually flickering? Oh, that's a fun illusion, but no, it's not flickering. I have not added any animations. So you're welcome. And <laughs> no, it's not it. I don't know what's going on with mine's not like when I stare at that square, it's not flickering. So I really want you to take a gift of yours. I don't see it. Uh, although I guess that wouldn't work because it might be how your monitor is like rendering those two colors, but it doesn't need to be hot pink anyways. So we're going to get rid of that color and maybe that'll help with the illusion that should not be. And yes, I spell it the British way. Deal with it. Um, like wait, that looks wrong. Isn't that bizarre? Hang on. I'm going to color pick and make sure we're. Uh huh. Yeah. It's so funny because this this color in the middle to me looks much lighter than this outer ring. But that again is an illusion. Okay. So I need to. We said we would do styling last and I'm going to try my best not to break that rule. So next one is what is it? What did I call it? I think I called it data layer. And it gets a lot of these same things. Uh, it's going to be, it's not going to be dark purple, but we're going to leave it that way for this moment in our lives because I want to see it as I bring it to life. What is happening? I'm confused. Why is my square still on top? Oh, I'm not giving you center yet. <laughs> that extend center. You should be on top of the square. Beautiful. But you don't need to be 220. I don't know. 120? That seems too small. Uh, It is going to be way too small. Go back and look at our thermostat, shall we? All right. Any guesses? <laughs> So you finally did it. You put a square peg in a round hole, <laughs> Ed. <laughs> Any guesses as to how big our data layer needs to be? 130 by 130. What? No. Everything else must be really, really off. <laughs> My thermostat must be like massive compared to that thermostat, but we're not going to change it. We're just going to keep going relative to what we started at because we're not, ouch, copying their numbers. So this needs to be like, I don't know, 180? I don't know. And it should not be dark purple at this moment so we can actually see it. Light gray. Yeah, I mean, I think. Yeah, theirs is a little thicker. Okay, let's do 150 or 160. That's too much. Do 160 and we're going to move on. Um, so next up we need, we still, we, we don't see our words with the mouth, a square transform, transform, rotate, transition. Why am I, I'm like completely losing the syntax here. Hi TJ. 
What is square layer? Square layer is, okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome everyone if you're just now joining us. I was chatting it up in the very beginning and I might not be making sense now if you missed that part where we're building out this thermostat and it is from 100 days CSS challenge. Day index equals 54 if you are trying to follow along. Okay. So I'm looking at these layers thinking, how are we going to build this? And this is just Alyssa's verbiage, but I'm going to name this layer thermostat, this layer, which they called ring. I labeled, I don't know, colorful layer, I think. And then this one, they said bottom overlay. I called it square layer. It's a square that is rotated and making this ring appear, uh, making this circle appear as a ring. Um, it's what causes the, uh, the illusion that it's actually shaped that way. And so we have a square layer. If I go ahead and hide my data layer, there's my square. It's probably too big, but yeah. So we need to go ahead and rotate that square and move it down a bit. Uh, yeah. So if you're following along and you're all like, mm, I have a better idea, then I totally, please grab my codes, change it, send it back to me. We'll look at it on stream. What was I doing? Right. Transform, rotate, CSS. Totally, just like completely lost. It's like, oh, I clicked on W3Schools. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Uh, transform, translate. Yeah. Just transform, colon, and then we're going to do rotate. I don't know why sometimes I just lose syntax totally just gone trans well vs code also like helps with auto completing which code pin doesn't have rotate 45 degrees and you have to say deg needs that okay. um but now we need to move it over uh transform rotate i think we can just put it all in the same line i might be totally Wrong, but I think we can translate and we want to move it along the X axis. Woo, words are hard. Uh, 200. <laughs> I don't know how much I want to move it over. I don't think, is, do I need a comma? Am I allowed to do this? Image source thermostat.jpg done. Ed, you're ruining life. Okay, uh, hang on. We're going to just Google this and chaining transforms because you can't do like if I say two different lines the last one's going to be applied let me just show you what the heck I'm talking about if you haven't done this before so if I do two different lines like this please please load oh, is it because I don't have Units? Why are you mad? It's mad. And I also like probably just moved it off the screen. So let's move it like 50 or something. There we go. Okay. So you do two different transforms, one and then the other. The second one is going to apply. It's the same as saying background color light gray and then saying background color hot pink. The second one is going to override the first one, right? But there is a way that you can do multiple transforms, which I think you just put it in the same line. I think I was just missing a unit. And get rid of the second line. Yeah, maybe. I don't think there's a comma. I think the comma is going to break it. The comma breaks it. Okay, so no commas. And then you just put them like this and specify exactly what trans translate you want. Wow, is this actually... Mm. thanks ed pretty sure you just use space no comma could be wrong but that's what brain says yeah you're right turtle line 27 where are you what ed line 27 of what that website you just told me to pull up with the hang on oh oh yeah thanks ed although i don't know if i support i guess mozilla is okay i don't know I never know which docs to support these days. I get confused. Ed was linking to, whoa, that's not 
<laughs> that's not how you link it. I'm going to pull it over and show you. Ed was linking to line 27 of the Mozilla docs, which, yes, you just chain them like so. I don't know why there's not commas. I feel like in my heart there needs to be commas. <laughs> It's very upsetting to me that there's not. Okay. And there also has to be units. So don't forget your units. Um, let's go back to this. We were... Okay. I hate, I hate when it comes to math. So feel free to correct me, but we're going to... We have to do some math. And it's not going to be fun, mainly because I'm not great at it. Uh, I believe that your HTML is crystal clear. Sometimes it makes t sense to avoid parent-child relations. Mm. Thanks. It's, uh, I don't know why, but there's just big red flags with nesting each one of these inside of the other. So it was something I was not willing to do. <laughs> But uh, there's, I have a really um, weird brain where like I I have emotions and those reside, reside, they stay, they stick with me over uh, long periods of time, but the reasons for those emotions don't. And so, uh, for instance, if I, I meet a person at a conference and they're really, really mean to me, I might totally forget about the interaction, but when I see their face again, I'll like get nauseous and I don't know why. And my husband will often remind me, he'll be like, oh, remember it was this instance. Same thing happens with code. Uh, I'll learn a lesson, a really, really painful lesson. Hey, don't nest 12 elements inside of each other. And I don't remember what that lesson was, but I just have red flags that are like, I don't want to do that. And so it makes teaching really difficult at times because I'm like, just don't do that thing, right? Like that's horrible. But uh, that's that's where we were at this 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 earlier stream. Okay, transform rotate we're doing, but then once we rotate it, it is not centered anymore. Oh, there is a way. All right, I'm gonna inspect it because we need to we need to move it over. But like, how much do we move it over? And we don't want to do a pixel value, do we? Because then that'll be like, what if that changes? Like, because ideally everything that we're building it would be perfect <laughs> it'd be just handy if you could change like one number and all of it would scale appropriately so i'm feeling like could you show it without transform could i show it without transform yes maybe uh this is where i pull up css tricks and say drawing a triangle in CSS. I always regret blanket statements. Never use inline styles. Then I find really good use immediately after saying it, Ed. <laughs> really? Because I haven't found a good use for inline styles. <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah. The shapes of CSS. I think it's like one of the top shapes that he mentions. My heat, I have a heated blanket on. It's July. But it's getting a little warm. Okay. Triangle shape. Yeah. So we could do this. Uh, this isn't the exact shape that we need, but you can draw the triangle with borders. So we could do something like this. Let's try it. I'm all about, I mean, I would love to figure out the math. Because right now it is in the center if it wasn't rotated. Um, can I, do, would the order fix it? I know I'm talking about multiple things at one time and that really throws some people off. But if we change the order of the transform, would that fix it? So if we, because mm, up here we have a center, which is transforming, transform translate by 50%. Ed's saying that inline styles are handy when you need to align something that you don't know the position of until runtime. Yikers. Those are words I never want to hear as a designer. <laughs> Not know the position of until runtime. What are you working on, you monster? <laughs> Seriously, that's, that scares me. Oh, God, what do I do? 
Turtle guy. Help me. Sounds so whiny. I know. I can just draw a triangle and then we don't have to rotate it. But I want to know how to do this the right way. Not because like literally here's a hacky way. You want to see the hacky way? Here's Alyssa's hacky way. Not transform. Transition. Translate. We want to translate. And then we're going to translate it X. And then we're going to say like I was doing negative 50 pixels. And then we're going to look at it and we're like, that's not quite center. So let's keep going. And there. Calling that center. <sighs> Turtle guy, I need to set the transform origin. Mm, center, center. Transform, transform origin. Yeah, we need to set it to center, center. I don't know. Or maybe not center, center. Is that how I do it? So that you rotate from the center instead of the corner. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that, but uh, transform origin. Yeah, it's just two. And again, they're not separated by commas. Um, and it's transform dash sent. Transform dash origin, like I did, nothing changed. I wonder if center is actually already doing that. Where's center? It's not. It's not already doing that. Um, oh, I did transform. Ah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then let's get rid of this, please. There we go. Okay. So I did what you said, and I got rid of my hack. It looks the exact same. So I'm wondering if I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to inspect and see if we're actually, I love how whenever I inspect, like all the font gets really small on the website. I don't know why that happens. Um, yeah, it's being applied. And when I unapply it, like seemingly nothing happens. Okay. Yeah, nothing's happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Rares. I will. I'm going to do it how, how Rares wants to do it. And then we're going to do it the way I want to do it because I really want to know. Um, I suck at positioning. I always have. And I like lean more heavily on Flexbox for things. Um, but there are times in life when positioning is like golden and it's really, really handy and it's really good to know. And also it's good to know what the heck you're doing with transforms and what order to do them in and how much to do it. Right. So to appease rares and all the other people in the audience who are annoyed with me right now, we're going to go to uh, right quick. Let's scroll up so you can see this and then that in the square layer. So instead of drawing a square and then rotating it, let's go ahead and just draw a triangle, which again, like I said, here are the shapes of CSS on CSS tricks. If you've never on it and we're just going to copy paste and then we're going to walk through what's going on here so with height light gray so we want the light gray we don't want to draw a square uh right i forgot that i had hot pinked it and we're going to go ahead and extend something so we're going to say triangle triangle and then number with all your might, don't use the formatting because you will break the font. Shift tab. Okay. Font import. And okay, so now we're going to extend triangle, triangle. Are you angry with me? Gorgeous. Grrr. Okay. You might be like, what's happening here? I will walk you through it. Don't be don't be scarred. 
Could you not apply the triangle yet? I think it was bottom zero transform. What? Not triangle. Oh, okay. I'm confused. Um, one second. So set the square to the bottom. Okay. Well, if we put bring back our square, and then you're saying, I think it was bottom zero and transform translate. Transform. Ooh, excuse me, darlings. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying, but it would be very manual. Because I know that we can move it down basically uh, translate use positioning but mm, and then because the top left is positioned to center center you still need to translate negative right which is what I at one point I had done uh, turtle I had just grabbed this fella we're going back down, extending center, and I don't know if this is needed, but once we much better. So it was. You were right, Turtle. I really need this to reload. Apparently it did reload. Question mark. I'm not convinced. Sometimes it <laughs> sometimes it doesn't update the styles and you're like, I don't think that's what's happening. Okay, let's go see what we did. Let me get rid of all the extra cruft real quick. Translate. Well, we don't want to move it up X, Y. We don't want to move it up on this one, I don't think. Yep. Um... I don't know why I don't need transform origin center center. Ooh. I did not have enough cold brew apparently. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the triangle because I wanna use the square method. Um, and then we're gonna look, we are translating, if we go back over to this one, it needs to be, the triangle needs to be further down, maybe a little bit bigger even, let's see. Um, so let's do, I want to see where that's at. That's not going to be enough. We want to do like, keep going. Oh, I'm going up. Whoops. Mm, 80. Uh, let's bring in my data layer real quick, and I want to see what this looks like. Obviously, we're going to have the overflow hidden. Um, I think it, oh, pardon me, darlings. I think it needs to go up even further. Hmm. Uh, let's go look at the ring angle. Yeah, that's getting there. It's getting there. We need, let's give our data layer real quick a, I think I made the, what did I call the background? I just called it box shadow. How, how classy. That extends box shadow. You know what I've wondered? You know how you can like change. What did I just type? You can chain. Ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> is that so ugly? <laughs> okay, we're going to look into why that's so ugly in a minute. But I've always wondered if you can chain extend. So you can be like center and then box shadow. I don't think this is going to work at all. Hardcore telling me no. But how cool would that be? So I guess you might be trying, might not know the difference between 
the next thing that looks like the smart logo <laughs> okay um why is there is it because of my background color <laughs> i'm like so distractible uh okay we need to do like a show where i'm actually on medication and you can see like how focused i can be and probably a lot less fun though <laughs> we're like done in 20 minutes i'm like okay bye uh okay um why why are you so ugly <laughs> why is your box shadow white it's because of my background color mm-hmm. okay so i'm giving the data layer I was born that ugly. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's my box shadow. Maybe that's just the box shadow I gave it. Uh, it's so bad, but I'm just used to seeing it against white. I don't know. That looks like mm, not so tasty. Let's go back to my box shadow g- 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 generator. Where was it? No. Did I get rid of it? I think I think I got rid of it. Yeah, I definitely got rid of it. Box shadow CSS. It was like one of the first results. Yeah. CSSmatic.com. Um so yeah, it's definitely because we're up against a white background. You guys are gonna think I'm so hacky. Cause what I'm <laughs> cause what I'm about to do. It's gonna be hacky. Uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab the color that I'm up against and I'm going to give it that background color so that I can see <laughs> what I'm building. I think it was, what was it, five, five, eight? I don't remember at all. But this was not that color. We're going to go back and actually look at the, it was five, five, ten, zero, D1. Q five five ten zero D one D one D one D one. Did it work? Did it go? I don't know. Oh, I have to actually click it. And then we're gonna give the background color again. Woo! Yeah, that does look white up against purple. Yikers! RGBA is your friend for box shadows. Hmm, like a good zero 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 point two. Thanks, turtle. Because this white is like, what? Uh, can I do RGBA here? I don't think so. I don't. Oh, well, it's got an opacity. So I really love how every time, <laughs> every time I change something, it resets the background. Oh, wait. The background color is right here. Wow, Alyssa. Wow. And none of you told me. And none of you told me. Wow. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, so if we change the opacity, is it putting an RGBA in? It is putting an RGBA in. Interesting. <laughs> and I think you said it was 000, which is black, which is, I know FFF is white. Is it just literally zeros? Is that black? It is. Question mark? Redeemed hydrate. Mm delicious i have lemon water in my brand new nalgene that i bought this past weekend i used to all the time you use the nalgenes and uh, i don't regret it i freaking love them i've been going to the park or the zoo a lot and it's great to have something that you can seal away and it doesn't spill everywhere what am i doing okay well Uh, let's go back over to our real thermostat and get out of the console. That's why we didn't tell you about the background color. <laughs> we wanted to surprise you. Oh, you make me giggle. Um, I'm okay with that box shadow being on the outer one. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find it. It's at the very top, I thought. Yes, it is. Um, but we're going to call it box shadow light, and then we're going to create a different one for darker situations. Dark. And 
Mm-hmm. I'm going to grab this and use the RGBA that Turtle suggested. Mm. Zero, 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 because there are a few times in life that Turtle is wrong. Okay. And that's too many numbers. <laughs> no, it's not. It's perfect. Uh, red, green, blue, alpha. So I named everything correctly, I think, question mark. Now we're going to go down and extend our thermostat is extending box shadow, and it needs to extend box shadow light. And our beta layer should do dark. It's better. It's still too bleedy for my liking. Yeah, I don't. What what is that? The, go up to the box shadow. Uh, I think that's the ten, which I'm going to change to eight. In all places. Let's try that. I can't. Did it save? Did it save? I think that's. <laughs> Why though? Share that code. I know people. Uh, we have lost all of my shadows? Question mark. And apparently my screen share. Okay. Don't worry, everyone. It's not you. I accidentally hit my hot corner and slept my monitor. It's me. Okay, so why are all my box, oh, oh, I see. Okay, amongst all of that weirdness that just happened, apparently the unit did not get saved over. A little better. We'll try it. You're extending an existing class. Where? Whoa, 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 where? Okay, anyways, uh, let's double check that my screen's sharing. It is sharing. Woo, let's, because it's driving me crazy, hide thermostat. Odd. It's because I'm positioning. Fuck, it's a fish. X, Y, blurred, distance, optional, inset. Thank you for that. I'm currently on an overflow hidden problem <laughs> with positioning. <laughs> I'm just going to drink some water while I sip it. Because the first thing that comes to mind is like, mm. <laughs> Should you do a 50% corner radius on the square? I don't think that's going to look like what you think that's going to look like. Would it? Okay, first of all, can you just give it to one corner? I think so. I think you just provide each one. Second of all, since it's not the same size as our outer circle, wouldn't the curve be off and therefore not line up if we could do such a thing, which I think we can. Setting YOLO. Right? <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know if you could set different. I think you can. Yeah. Cause you can say top right radius, top left. But again, because they circles are different sizes, I think if we give our square layer, like, let's just do it. Let's just stop talking about it and do it. Border radius. Can I do it all in here? 20 pixels, 10 pixels, 50% and zero. Will that work? I think that's, I think that's what's happening. Uh, so top right, bottom left. So... It's rounding the bottom right now, but even if it was positioned exactly where that would line up, I don't think it would look right. Maybe. I guess we could still hide it that way. Yes, turtle. I assumed it was shorthand. Again, not helping with my overflow problem. 
because what I really want to do is, so since I'm positioning, I'm taking it out of the page flow, which then makes, is it impossible like without not positioning with absolute, is it impossible to use overflow? Because I was like, oh, maybe I could create like another element that's invisible, but it's like wrapping everything and it has the overflow hidden. But again, I'm pulling all of this up out of the page flow, right? So there's no way for me to use overflow hidden as long as it's still a child of the thing. So can I make it a child of something that's the exact shape and size of the thermostat that's invisible that has overflow hidden on it? Is that what we want to do with our lives? Uh, We're going to think about it while I give some data to my data layer. So we're going to have two different degrees and a bedroom. Div section. I don't know. I'm going to try section, but that might be totally wrong for this. Class of data. Temp temperature. I don't know. Then we're going to say, what were they? 23 and 19. How do I get the, oh, is it option? There it is. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's how you do it. And 19 and the room name. Let's do... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, oh, I'm going to save this and share it out again in case you wanted to play with Rares wants me to say border radius 100% on the square. Let's try it. Where's my square? I don't think doing anything over 50% does anything, though. Or maybe you meant just, yeah, because see if I do like 100% only on the bottom. Oh, it does. it's really weird. I thought 50% was like the max you could go. And then like beyond that, nothing is changing. Uh, zero, 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 100%, right? Because we don't want anything else to change. Or we could just say the border radius bottom and then just say 100% not specify the others mm, what was it or is it bottom border radius border top right radius what the fudge border oh yeah because we're a square so we need to talk to i'm confused we need to talk to the the bottom left and right yeah i don't yeah i think so Border, bottom, left. Let's see if that works. And woo! <laughs> Hang on. I have a square. I'm rotating it 45 degrees. So I want top right, I think. Top right and bottom right. I'm not reading chat right now. So if you're all telling me the answers to this. Just one property, top right, no bottom right. Okay. I have a square. And I'm rotating at 45 degrees, right? So we want... Should it just be bottom right? It's, sorry, hang on. I think it might be just bottom right. It should not be this hard. Raining. Hey, it's just bottom right. 
<laughs> Woof. Everyone's like, wow. I know. I know. Uh, that, that works. And I'm surprised that that works. But that works. <laughs> oh, I need to. I have a useless hidden, actually. Because... It's not well, it's not working because we're positioning. Oh, I'm surprised that works too. I know. Mm. I'm gonna turn the square layer pink real quick. Just so that everyone can see. Ah. So it is a different curve, but because it is the exact same color as our thermostat. And it's not right up against it. Like it's it's not overhanging it at all. It works. Well, I really wanted to do something with overflow. I would avoid paragraph elements for single words. What would you use? Spans? Divs? I don't understand. Isn't it more semantic to use paragraphs, even if it's a single word? Div? Really? Really? I would love to hear everyone else's opinion on this because... I want to be semantic about it. And I know that divs and spans are the least semantic you could be about anything in the whole world. So even if you're like div class temperature, why avoid the paragraph? Because it's not actually a paragraph. <laughs> P is definitely correct, says someone. Custom elements, <laughs> rares. <laughs> Send in your votes, people. Should these be paragraphs or not? Um, oh, okay. Hang on. Kitchen. 19 degrees. Word, word. <laughs> You're the worst, rares. <laughs> uh, prototype used is. What is prototype? Am I supposed to know what that means? Is it like some very popular something, something? I'm scared of our hot pink while we're at it. Wow. Time has flown today. Okay. Uh, I think we need to center our text to get back to this. Yes, our text is all centered. And we're going to have class of set temperature. I really don't know if I'm spelling that word right. Let's check it out. Temperature. Whoa. Usually it's like, yeah, there we go. I think I'm spelling it right. I don't know. Usually it's a little bit more obvious if I'm spelling it wrong. Temperature. Current temperature and room. Save. Hi, I just found this on Reddit. Hey, Mercy. Set it to temp so it can be confusing. <laughs> on if it's temperature or temporary. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to try to show all of our markup. It's just too much. It's too much. Because uh, then we wouldn't see any CSS. I guess I could make our CSS a little bit smaller. Okay. So uh, I need to talk to our data. Yeah. Mm, what do I do first? We're going to center all of our text inside of here. Which Either that's not how you do it, or it's a doing it, and I don't know it. Text align. I really thought it was a thing. Why is it not being applied? Maybe because I'm giving it to data layer. Let's do something dumb, shall we? <laughs> we shouldn't have to do this, right? Because if I give it to the parent, doesn't it give it to the children? Apparently not.
Yeah. I don't know why I needed to say everything inside of data layer. Give text alignment center. Because I thought giving it to, like, for instance, if I, I talk to my body and I'm like, hey, body, text line center, everything. Then all the paragraphs inside of that body get text line center. I thought. <laughs> I don't know. Please, someone tell me why this isn't working so I can move on with my life. Set temperature, temperature. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Check that out with you all. Okay. So we need different sizes, sizes, and weights. I think current is mainly our, our main bud that we need to talk to. What does that put us at? Okay. Is that too big? No, it's not too big at all. Uh, and then let's see, we're getting again, 700 and 300. I don't know if 700 might be too thick, but let's find out. Can't wait. A little better, better. That's too thick. So we're gonna go up to our import and we're going to import 500 as well. And we're gonna go down to our front rate. And we're going to change it to 500. And then we're going to wonder if 500 is a thing or if that's what it was at by default. It's a little better. How thick is it on this one? It's bigger and it's not as thick. <sighs> Is that too big? Okay, let's try, I don't understand. 500 doesn't look right. So I'm wondering, I know Open Sans has a 500. That would be bizarre if it didn't. It doesn't look like it's giving it 500 on the font weight. Hang on, comment that out. Maybe 500 to default. If we change it to four, nothing. Oh, I'm not importing it. Yerp. 400. Weird. If you didn't catch that, I think that 500. Yeah, I don't see a difference. Um, sorry, let me check the chat. Font weight 651. <laughs> Cragging me up. Your P tags are in a section, so that controls the text alignment. Give temperature data the text align center and it should work. What? I did. I thought I did give. Oh, I'm giving it to data layer. <gasps> oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I was like, I did give it to. No, you didn't. Oh, that's rough, Bob. That is rough. Okay. Thanks, Turtle. One of these days, I'm going to convince you to go on camera with me, and the world will weep at your brilliance. Temperature data. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Text line center, which apparently everything's centering by itself right now. It's always fun. Code pin, gotta love it. We need the extra space. Okay. Just turn the camera on him. <laughs> He's so funny. You know, he would run screaming. <laughs> and here we have the turtle in his natural environment. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I doing? I got 20 minutes max because I need some park time with the baby this afternoon. It's already 82. Ugh. Speaking of temperature, um, it was like 70 this morning. And I was like, perfect. This afternoon at the park is going to be so chill. And it's going to be so chill in multiple ways. And like both the emotion and the temperature. But now it's like already 82. So I'm pretty bummed about that. What's going on with our line height? Or whatever the fudge is spacing these parts. So much margin. Why? 
And this is whenever the chat goes, and this is why we didn't want you to use paragraphs. Uh, okay. Um, temperature data. If I say margin zero on temperature data, will that trickle down to the children? I don't think so. It's weird that like text align or color trickles down, but that margins don't or other things. I, I get a little confused on things that will and things that won't because I don't know. It doesn't, why would text align? Why wouldn't you have to set it on each element? That was quite some margin we were receiving. <laughs> yeah, Turtle Guy, you should finish the challenge, Bailey. I'll walk out of this room. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, let's center this and get it looking pretty. Woo! I don't know. Every time I open the inspector, I regret it. Um, data layer. So my first gut instinct is to talk to data layer and be like, yo, data layer. <laughs> no, y'all are like, why are you so flexy? I don't know. I got comfortable with it. And that's just... I think it's actually align items for the other axis. Yeah. This is what I want to do. Or we could... Can I add extends? I don't think I can. Uh, not after it's rendered, right? No. Wait, what? I don't know if you can do that in the console. Um... I actually came up from a time where center was the way to go. Display flex, flex direction, column, line, line, right? Well, I don't think you need columns because as a row, like I think that's just one extra line that's, wait, you're saying that you want me to do flex direction, column, line, item, center, just like, yeah. I think that setting it to column, it will work. So if you can see here, I'm saying flex direction, column, but I think the default of row, like if we toggle this on and off, it doesn't, it doesn't modify anything. So I'm actually going to do this. I don't know why though, but I, I feel like I overuse flex. And so I feel a little, a little guilty about it. Um, whoa, not what we want. That's why we do column. Why wasn't that changing before? Was I doing it on the different element? What the fudge? I don't know. I hear you laughing at me, turtle. Maybe you're just representative of the entire chat as a whole. So I hear all of you laughing at me. Hmm. Sorry, I should never have doubted you. Is it Const Constant Dino Scar? How do I say your name? What do I call you? Const? Turn the camera on him. <laughs> Run, turtle. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, my inspector is still on this, so I'm going to refresh this page because I, I want it to fix fix itself. What the dickens. I love how sometimes it just doesn't save my changes. <laughs> uh, what did we do? So we said display flex, flex direction, center, center. Uh, I don't know. It's like I made a change in the console that's not real. Oh, I was giving it to data layer. That's why I didn't need column before. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this and put it on the data layer and see if that fixes all my woes. It does. So if I put it on one level up, data layer, then I don't need flex direction column. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Awesome. Const. I'm saying it right. Okay. Uh, we have our thermostat. The font is like so wrong it's not even funny okay so first cheat well, yeah, I mean maybe you're gonna say that it's not our first cheat but the first cheat that I'm considering span of white oh no <laughs> no 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 oh, it's not what I want to do that makes me feel really dirty oh, okay I haven't seen the delay on the web animations in iOS 14. I 
should check it out. Is it bad? Is it ba bad? Okay. Um, I sent you a link to a tweet. Awesome. Thanks, Bears. And if anyone is wondering about my screeching, it's because they're putting the degree sign in a span and then they're positioning it and giving it a different font size to achieve this look. I mean, okay, first of all, no one wants no one no one wants that. And I'm assuming if I go ahead and give a 19, let's say, we do want it to be in line. So yeah, I'm fine with using a span for this because we have semantic P's around it. But if I say class of three symbol, symbol, I don't know. You might think I'm too ver verbose, but I would much rather be too verbose than be one of the people that's like, herka, derka, derka. And you're like, what does that even mean? So, some degree symbol. Um, font size of, ooh, ooh, oh. I don't know. So this is why they're positioning, but I would just try to do it with a line height. And so I would set the line height back to the original, which I think was four rems. No, not going to work. Unhappy with me. It's a span. Does that matter? Maybe that might matter. Hang on. Let me check it. Let me ch 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 check it. Okay. So we've got our degree symbol. Giving it a line height. If I change that line height, it doesn't seem to be moving it. But I'm wondering if that's because it's a span? Question mark? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to sorry. <laughs> refresh the page so we know where we're standing. And then go back to our scroll all the way down the degree symbol and say display inline block maybe inline block ba block ba block isn't that right do I have to actually I say block that shouldn't that would be because it's just going to bump it down to the next line because mm, I want it to be on the same line but I also want it to listen to line height use transform <laughs> Yes, yes, all of these are possible and hilariously. So it is, uh, hang on. So it is as tall. I wonder if I say paragraph, will it then listen to? No, oh, it's still not moving it. Vertical align super. What does that do, turtle? What does that do? We're going to reload. Ah, my console. Uh, what was I doing? It's like when I reload my browser, I reload my brain. It's no good. Vertical align super. If that's a real thing, I'm going to be like, what? Learn something today. <laughs> Beautiful. And it's like no uh no translates were used in the making of Okay, let's look that up cuz apparently the genius turtle knows something. Was it super CSS? I don't know. We're just googling. Align that one. Make it bigger. Image, vertical line, middle, or super lines the baseline of the element with the superscript baseline of its parent. Oh, it's of course where the sup would sit. Um, no one knows CSS really. It's just code at live and the turtle that are flexing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, people actually know CSS. I thought you just hack it together until it looks right. <laughs> Connect. Uh, Okay, but seriously, let's look at, let's make this like not massive. 
Vertical line, middle, top, bottom, sub. Ooh, and super. That doesn't look right. Because I would think we need to do like text top or something funny. Baseline. Oh, wow. It takes, it takes all of the things. Okay. I'm going to go back over here and play with the other ones. Okay. Then what does 50 pixels do? If that puts it 50 pixels from the top, what, what, what does zero do? I have no idea. Is that even doing anything? Does it need a pixel? Hmm. Hmm. I see. Hmm. I'm really happy with this, this article, actually. Vertical line. We're just going to go from the top. Did I just make up super? Were we using sub? No, super's a thing. What does sub do? Okay, so sub means bottom and super means top edge, I guess. Super align the baseline of the element with the superscript baseline of its parent. Sub aligns the baseline of the element with the subscript baseline. So sub below, super above. Is what I need to try and remember. But that's this makes me so much happier. Uh, do I actually need the line height? I think I do. Not? I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. I know that code pen sometimes is delayed with its reactions, but I think we don't need it. So super is above, sub is below, vertical line. Oh, I wonder if horizontal align is a thing. <laughs> it's probably not. Horizontal. <laughs> I feel like I would try to try to try to change the URL like that. <laughs> it's just lay out horizontal, horizontal and vertical align. But yeah. Zero never needs a unit. <laughs> oh, I wish that were true. That's why I married him. A legit his CSS skills. It's like no other reason. Just his raw CSS skills. <laughs> well, that and at the time Halo skills, but <laughs> Okay. Um uh, horizontally. I just uh... Turtle is horizontal. I'm, I'm assuming horizontally aligning is not a thing. And that's why God gave us flex. I don't know. I'm going to close out some of these so we can go to our main. Oh, yeah. We never got our gradient in. Let's make a crazy one. Also, I don't know if it's radial or linear on theirs. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to grab this one real quick, right quick. Or I could choose the copy to clipboard button. That would yurka durka. And let's go ahead and choose our colorful layer that's not so colorful at this moment in time. Where are you? Hello. Hello. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> his inner height <laughs> oh aka text align is what you're saying is horizontal hmm. yeah that makes sense tech so they thought when they're like writing the spec they're like mm. i know text align and vertical align those two they're obvious they're they're match matches made in heaven yes it's perfect oh my goodness okay so last question of the day. I mean, yes, we need to, you know, animations, which we're probably not going to get to, but we've done a lot with the animations on past streams. So I'm not really heartbroken over that part, but I really do want to know if they used, I think they might've used a radial gradient. Let's look it up. Let's find their layer. Control, control, indicator. I don't remember what it was called. 
ring. I think they called it ring. There. <gasps> no. <laughs> I have to go cry now in a closet. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I'm tearing up a little bit. <laughs> That that makes me so sad. They used a background URL. Come on. All right. Challenge accepted. Mm. Got like five minutes left. Let's do this. Flipping background URL. What the crap? Okay. And there's the background URL they used. So we are going to build it out the way it should have been built out in the first place. Because uh, no. So we're going to start with that color. And we're going to go to pick, 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 pick that color. I think this is, I think this is what we want to do. And lastly, pick the pink. That looks about right. Uh, let's try it. Go back over to our codes, delete that trippy one. No, that's like, no, what did I do wrong? It's, it's bleeding too much. The first one has too much space and it's pretty freaking dark. Why did it zero me out? Is that, I didn't, hang on. It's not the right color. I don't know why it put zero, zero on there, but I'm gonna delete. <sighs> Yeah, that's closer. Uh, let me see. It's pretty close. It's not perfect, but. And also turtles twitching right now because I'm using a hex and then two RGBAs. Love getting under your skin. And I have a random one somewhere. Where the heck is the one coming from? You see it up there in the top left? Uh, what? <laughs> Why is there a one? First person who spots the one gets a candy? I really... Line one. <laughs> Rares, I totally owe you candy. What the fuck? I would never have seen that. I'm like, no. What an, okay. Thanks, guys. Woof. Or use radial gradient. Am I not using a radial gradient? Is that not <laughs> mother of? I thought it was auto giving me. Oh, that's what happened. Hmm. But if we look at this image, this is not a radial gradient, a CSS radial gradient, because a CSS radial, at least this radial gradient, this it's like the center is a color and then it goes out from there. So should we use a radial gradient? Because the way, if we want to achieve this effect, I think that's linear. Your kids will not have candy for dinner. <laughs> mm, we've been eating like crazy healthy, um, which has been really fun actually. Cause I always feel good when I eat healthier, but like for instance, I made an enchilada casserole with, the cauliflower rice and we're going to top it with a ton, ton of like fresh veggies mm. <laughs> so you both work in the same office do you guys work at the same firm or just work from home we don't work for the same one i don't think we've ever worked for the same company we've been married for Turtle, you're going to have to correct me if you remember. We both are really bad with dates. Eight years, nine years, ten years, somewhere around there. And we've, ever since we've been married, both been into web, web development and uh, just work for different places remotely. Um, but yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with with what we were able to accomplish today. Need a little bit of animation fun, but again, I don't really understand what their animation on Hover is doing anyway, so... Before I submit this, I would probably, like you said, a nice uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit would be fun. But then we've got to use some JavaScript. So maybe that's what we'll do next week unless there's something more, unless there's something more fun. But seriously, add Alyssa Nichol on the Twitters um, or just 
you know, message me in here. Uh, I'm very willing to take ideas for what we do on UI Wednesdays. It's just a place for me to come and work on UI stuff. Uh, I usually do Angular, um, not on this stream in my day job, uh, but I've been mainly focusing on HTML and CSS because that's where my passion is. But we can work on anything, any UI, any UI thing you all want to work on. So, Turtle Guy is Turtle Guy with two eyes, I believe. Um, he's a shy turtle. He does not come out into the sunlight often. Yeah, it's just Turtle Guy with two eyes. No the. <sighs> Um, but yeah, he is a, just absolute brilliant at all, all things CSS. I, I dabble compared to him. He, again, you know, he came up with vertical aligned super uh, off the top of his head. So if you're ever like really stuck, just send him a code pin. <laughs> you're welcome, turtle. Okay. I have to go play in the sunshine now because I just, I need some sunshine. But I hope you all have a marvelous Wednesday, whatever time it is for you all. And I'll see you back next week for some more UI fun. Mwah!